Hi, this is Brent Grover from Evergreen Consulting for Advanced Supply Chain Solutions powered by IBIS. This month's topic is sales channels. This video blog is part three in a series about different sales channel options available to wholesale distributors. This blog is going to focus on the second of three options. The blog today is about proactive inside sales reps. And I want to start by making the distinction between proactive outside sales reps, that is uh, proactive inside sales reps, who are uh, sales reps who have very specific assignments for their own accounts or a specific job relating to developing leads for their salespeople, but they are not uh, reactive customer service reps who uh, take calls from customers, answer questions, take orders, etc. So uh, a different type of, of salespeople for wholesale distributors. Proactive inside salespeople have to live with the uh, reputation of telemarketing or telesales, which of course doesn't always have a positive, uh, elicit a positive reaction. And distributors really have not had much success as a group with a proactive inside sales. In the past, they really didn't know how to do it, and uh, many efforts that wholesale distributors made were half-hearted, and they weren't really carried through in a professional manner. So. Uh, they gave up on it, and uh, therefore a lot of wholesale distributors are reluctant to get back into a proactive inside sales mode. And of course, there's always the threat to the outside reps, uh, insides, proactive inside sales reps, uh, having their own customers, their own account list. Uh, many times are uh, some accounts that are very small or inactive accounts are transferred from outside sales rep to inside sales. So uh, there's, there's, a, um, there's a bit of a resistance on the part of the outside sales force. So I want to talk about two different types of uh, inside sales reps. One type manages their own customer list, much like an outside salesperson would do. They have their own accounts. Uh, the only real difference between what they do and what the outside sales reps do is the uh, proactive inside sales reps don't actually uh, leave the place of business where they work and go to the customer's location, uh, except uh, perhaps on an exception basis. And naturally, that would mostly be for local customers, whereas uh, another possible application for inside sales reps, and it's a different application, would be uh, their use of, of their talents for uh, qualifying uh, leads and then cultivating leads, which will ultimately, by design, be turned over to outside sales reps. So, of course, in that case, uh, they're specifically uh, providing a very valuable marketing service for uh, the outside sales reps by uh, creating warm leads for them. Uh, but again, this, th these two types of inside sales reps, they're not interchangeable with the idea of the uh, reactive customer service rep. Now, the inside sales rep uh, has uh, her own or his own customers. They can make 50 to 60 contacts each day, so they can handle a much larger customer list than uh, an outside salesperson can. They would tend to be mostly medium-sized and smaller accounts. As a rule of thumb, it would take a year or more for an inside sales rep to become truly effective. It takes longer, naturally, for an outside sales rep in most cases, and they're also handling larger, more complex accounts, don't have all the resources at their fingertips. And uh, also, as a rule of thumb, uh, a successful inside sales rep in wholesale distribution could expect to earn sixty dollars to $80,000 a year in potential compensation. And uh, some of that compensation would typically be at risk, meaning it would be uh, dependent on the grosser the net profitability of the customers assigned to that inside sales rep. Uh, these quadrants, which I've referred to before, uh, are based on the size of profits or, in some cases, losses generated by customers. Uh, the ideal applications for the inside sales reps, the proactive reps with their own territories, is on the left side of, of the chart here with the small profit accounts or the small loss accounts. There are many customers in the wholesale distributor customer portfolio that are in the blue or the yellow quadrants. And in those cases, uh, they may not have a lot more potential than the business they're already generating. Sometimes they're just too small to ever become very good sized customers for the distributor. And they're best assigned to proactive inside sales reps as opposed to outside sales reps due to the obvious efficiencies and also the improved quality of service the inside sales rep can provide for those types of customers. Uh, I, uh, leverage technology is an opportunity here. I just want to stop uh, on it just for a moment because uh, maybe one of the reasons inside sales reps have started to become more successful today in addition to the awareness of the value of that function 
and the fact that it's now a career position for many wholesale distributors is that the technology is there to make the inside sales rep a great deal more effect, effective and efficient. Uh, advanced telephone technologies, uh, the uh, advent of integral CRM, customer relationship management software, of, a special, of special value to the inside sales reps. Uh, the opportunity with advanced ERP systems to integrate the databases for customers, products, pricing, et cetera, to make the inside sales rep extremely adept at handling customer inquiries and managing customer phone calls in a very efficient, again, and effective way. And one more thing I'll mention, which is content management. With good content management, a great deal of information can be placed at the fingertips of a good inside salesperson. Uh, again, it makes them more effective at what they do, but also uh, that content management, while it has value to outside sales reps also, and it has value for the electronic commerce offerings of the distributor, uh, great value to the inside sales reps. So uh, looking at something I've showed you before here, which is in the question, what do customers want? Well, uh, take a look at the circle uh, of offerings here for um, in the uh, in the marketing and selling uh, offerings, the multi-channel selling in this case that I'm referring to, outside sales is in red. You see a role there for a proactive inside salespeople as well. And uh, I just want to wrap it up uh, in, uh, for, for this week and, and ask a couple questions I've asked you before. Three questions, actually. Number one, is the software system at your company up to handling the opportunity uh, of uh, proactive inside sales reps at your company, uh, type A or type B, those who have their own customers or those who do lead development for other salespeople. Are your salespeople up to it, meaning are your outside salespeople prepared to deal with change and do you have people in the organization whom you could uh, develop into effective and successful, uh, obviously both financially um, and profit-wise for you as a distributor, uh, as inside sales reps, and then is your management team up to the up to the challenge of change, which which is obviously what this is all about? So until next time, this is Brent Grover from Evergreen Consulting for Advanced Supply Chain Solutions, powered by IBIS.